I am Professor Dr. Abul Kalam Ajat. You can call me Professor Ajat. I am the Director General of Health Services. So I visited actually for the first time last year, this conference. And during the last one year, I have seen from the morning presentation that there was a lot of progress has happened uh, by the contribution of the task force as well as by different uh, working groups. And we have seen that interesting things are happening in the countries. So we appreciate uh, the task force as well as uh, Dominic. This is under your leadership that things are happening. And we also actually appreciate uh, the different working groups because, because of their hard work, this kind of progress has been taking place. So I am actually, last year, I promised that uh, we'll make a cholera, national cholera control pro plan and we have made it by this time. And my presentation will mainly focus on the national actually cholera control plan in Bangladesh. But please remember before actually making any uh, actual assumptions about Bangladesh, that we have a huge population, 160 million in a small land area. And the country is very actually prone to, very much prone to actually different types of climate vulnerabilities. So these are the things actually you must consider before judging my presentation. So although actually these are the problems or challenges in Bangladesh, we have actually made very good control of diarrheal diseases in Bangladesh. So actually we see that uh, during the last two decades, we have actually reduced the diarrhea prevalence in Bangladesh by about 80%. And due to the interventions for diarrhea control, actually we made also progress in case of morbidity and mortality reduction due to cholera. We have a vibrant multi-stakeholder team which is working for ambitious watch targets. We have just uh, developed the National Cholera Control Plan 2019-2030, and this is now in the Ministry for final approval, and we hope that this approval will be received very soon. And actually, this uh, National Cholera Control Plan focuses on oral cholera vaccine as well as WASH as the main tools. Uh, we conducted uh, one of the world's largest successful OCV campaigns uh, for the Rohingya people now actually residing in Bangladesh. And this was conducted between October 17 to November 18 in one year period, and 2.2 million doses of cholera vaccines were actually used for this purpose. But prior to this, we had actually limited OCV campaigns in and around Dhaka city. And in Bangladesh, of course, we have got very high level uh, political commitment, uh, both for diarrhea, cholera, as well as all water and foodborne diseases. So what is the National Cholera Association? Virtually, I did not use uh, data that much, just actually to make you comfortable. But we have very established, well-established diarrhea disease reporting system in the country. But cholera, unfortunately, is not reported from the peripheral health facilities. The reason is that the diagnostic facilities for the cholera is absent. So actually, we just mentioned that these are diarrhea. Uh, Bangladesh is pioneer of ORS, you know, and we have here our colleagues uh, from ICD-DRB, and you know uh, ICD-DRB invented the ORS, and now actually I see the ORS has owned the entire world. And in Bangladesh, virtually the people's awareness regarding uh, diarrhea, or maybe severe diarrhea, acute watery diarrhea, this is quite good, and actually they know how to actually tackle this with ORS, and if there is severe cases, they actually by themselves can go to, to the hospital or the health facility for this. So actually, I have mentioned that notable diarrhea control measures helped the cholera control as well in the country. So in Bangladesh, we have got 22 sentinel sites actually for seeing the prevalence of diarrhea in those places. And these slides actually shows the prevalence, the acute diarrhea, acute diarrhea cases, as well as actually the cholera in the stool samples we examined. And these are in 22 sites. And actually from these slides, we understand that there are regional variations about the prevalence of the cholera. This is not same everywhere in the country. So we plan for two solutions, as I have mentioned earlier. One is OCB, and the second one is uh, WASH. So the, for OCB, this, this plan is for interim uh, with concurrent WASH. Of course, we'll not forget the WASH during this, and because cholera exists in Bangladesh. The patient load assumed to be high because we have got huge population. And the persistent vulnerability of climate change, population growth, and high density, as well as the urban migration. The contamination of the drinking water sources and the sanitation system happen during the monsoon. 
and by floods, landslides, and cyclones, etc. We have got compromised water quality due to environmental pollution, like industrial effluents, obstruction due to irrigation system, salt water intrusion, contamination of the piped water supply, etc. And of course, actually, we, we have taken WASH as a long-term solution because we assume that the cholera burden will be reduced in the country through the OCV and the other concurrent WASH measures. And of course, in Bangladesh, we are doing good economic growth. Infrastructure development is ongoing, so access to better quality of life will happen in the country. So we would need better WASH infrastructure in the practice after the OCV campaigns for keeping people free from all kind of water and foodborne diseases. So we have developed a national cholera control plan, and this is from 2019 to 2030, and we thank the task force because the, we, we received some technical assistance from the task force for developing this uh, cholera control plan. The goal of this plan is reduction of the cholera morbidity and mortality by 90% within 2030. And the targets for the cholera reduction is the short term, mid term, and the long term. In the short term, by 2021, we will reduce the cholera prevalence by 25%. By mid-term, by 2025, we will reduce this by half. That means by 50%. And by 2030, actually, we will align with the global goal, that 90% reduction of the cholera in the country. The key interventions will be six. One is strengthening surveillance on the reporting system. The second one is treatment of the cholera cases, the existing cholera cases. The OCP campaigns the wash promotion, coordination and the leadership, and finally, social mobilization. And we estimate that for OCB, we will require 0.43 million US dollar. For the billion US dollar. For the wash as a whole, we will require 0.13 billion US dollar. For the surveillance, we will require 0.02 billion US dollar. And the total will be 3.58 billion US dollar. But you know the, ma the WASH program in Bangladesh, I have mentioned that we have got actually the committed WASH program with actually multiple stakeholders with the ambitious plan. And much of the budget has been accommodated within the existing WASH plan. So naturally, the expectations from the task force or the WHO or other partners will not be that high. But of course, we we'll look forward to you for the supply of the OCVs. So actually, we have got uh, um, two plans. One is OCP plan, and another is a WASH plan broadly. But actually, how will identify the cases, number of cases? So the hot spots will be identified through uh, ongoing central sites in 22 districts. And actually, as we'll conduct this, implement this program, I think we'll have more sites to be discovered, and we'll also expand the services to that places. And we'll actually implement phase-wise OCP campaigns in identified hot spots. So during the six years, first six years period, we'll implement the OCP plan. And total doses by six years will be uh, 172.9 million. And the population covered will be 86.45 million. During the WASH plan, actually, we'll, uh, the current situation is that we have got safely managed drinking water in Bangladesh, 56%. And this will be actually raised to uh, more than 85% by 2025 and to 100% by 2030. The accessibility to improved sanitation is current is 47, according to JMP report, and this will be raised to more than 70% by 2025 and to 100% by 2030. An increased hygiene practice is currently 40%, and this will be raised to more than 80% and 100% by 2030. But one thing I like to mention, during the MDJ hazard, the definitions of the actual safe, access to safe water and access to sanitation was different. So current, actually, according to the MDZ definition, the actually access to safe water in Bangladesh is 95%, and access to good sanitation is more than 75%. But as in the SDGs, the definition have been changed. So actually, uh, this is the case in Bangladesh. So the expectations from um, the task force. Endorsement of the National Cholera Control Plan, because uh, upon which actually your decisions to support actually will matter. Then extending the surveillance system, establishment of the Central Cholera Reference Laboratory in Dhaka, establishment of rapid diagnostic test-based diagnostic facilities in the peripheral health facilities. We have we actually produce the call kit, a local actual rapid diagnostic tool kit. Establishment of the culture and the PCR-based diagnostic facility at the medical college hospitals. 
and the plan implementation, the capacity development, supply of the OCV from the stockpile of the GAVI, and actually our one of the pharmaceutical industries, actually it is prepared to produce OCV locally. We have just called today, and they are prepared actually the first batch they can supply within actually January next year. But of course, we'll require some support uh, to the National Control Laboratory in Bangladesh. So uh, this kind of technical know-how and the helping the NCL will be required by the Trust Force. And support for the WASH, and of course, this support for the WASH will be very minimal. So with this, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much.